The mobile solar unit is really important because it helps the tiny house warriors be able to power their electronics when they're on the front lines to be able to protect themselves. Hi everybody, I'm here back in Blue River in my beautiful, beautiful homelands. I'm Sukhwatmuk Ulu and you can see right here at the entrance of our tiny house warriors village site where here we have four of our tiny houses. We come from 180,000 square kilometers of territory that this pipeline um, proposes to go through. You know, we need to be able to document all of these, document the construction that's continuing to happen, but also our safety, because we are you know, battling against a big oil and gas industry. By having this mobile unit, the solar unit, it, it allows us to be able to charge our phones, our cell phones, for safety. We're right now in Blue River. This is the area where the proposed man camp is. So man camps, unfortunately, have got violence in and around Indigenous communities and violence towards women. We've seen this repeatedly. We're out there in the bush, pretty well isolated. We've already had racist residents. We've had people, you know, targeting us, coming and threatening us. We even had gunshots. I'm here at the Getum Den Camp at 44 and a half kilometer on Wet'suwet'en territory where we were invaded on January 7th. We are the most over-policed and under-protected. Why do we have thousands of women on these murdered and missing Indigenous women databases? We are a target. As a community member that's lost my sister, it's really important that we do not have violence against our women and we do not have more murdered and missing Indigenous women across this country, especially in resource extraction zones. If we continue to extract tar sands, we're going to see it as game over for the climate, especially the next biggest mine, the mega mine called Tech Mine. It doesn't matter how much consultation happens with the federal government or this pipeline, we've already said no. It's important for us to build the solutions and the type of energy that empowers our people, that empowers our community to make the transition now. I'm here today asking for people to continue to support us as we protect our homelands. Protecting the land and protecting our women go hand in hand.